breaking Bowser was really awesome. He did a good job with that. Let's see here. I'm gonna turn the volume down on this just a little bit. I recall this being... Actually, I'm gonna do some quick tweeting, okay? Give me a second, guys. <laughs> so if you watch Patty, um, he just tweeted out a couple minutes ago that he is at a bar where they're blasting hard rock covers of Disney songs. I don't know how to feel. Me too, right? That sounds really interesting. I would be totally behind doing that. So last time, if you missed the end of the six hour long Subnautica stream that ended at 3 a.m. Um, we had a rescue ship come try to pick us up and got shot down by an alien laser cannon that's here. Apparently the entire planet is quarantined because of an infection. Um, and that's probably what actually happened to our ship. It probably got shot down for getting too close. Oh, cool, I can't type Twitch, apparently. Hang on, delete that. I would know I'm an idiot because I would still be up at 3 a.m. And I would probably be thinking I should go to bed right after I do this one more thing.
Uh, no, that's in three hours. You're in some weird time zone that doesn't exist as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, CST is not a real time zone. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> so I, w I left off. Um, I have the radiation suit. I have the rebreather. Um, I have most of the components for the um, HAB, fabrication, HAB fabricator. So I think that's what I'm trying to build now so I can build a base. Someplace a little bit less cramped to live in and work in. And also, you make some extra batteries because everything is fucking battery powered, which is nice. At least I don't have to like refine petrol or something. So. <laughs> this may be a short stream. We'll see how I'm feeling and how much into it I get. Besides, this is good music to put Duck to sleep, and she really needs to go to sleep. If I went to bed now, I'd be asleep in like three minutes, and she'd still be awake. So, hopefully this will help. I didn't change my view to the main one, did I? There we go. This game loads really slow. So this is the final build. Let's see, so I need I found all sorts of awesome stuff, by the way. I made this. Um Hey Paul, how you doing, man? I reach I already changed the stream. If you F5, everything's been updated. It's cool. Let's see here. Oops. I want to make a habitat builder, which means I have everything I need except for a battery. Batteries are easy to make. Batteries are acid mushrooms and copper ore. I have plenty of copper ore. So let us go. Um, let's go get some mushrooms. Good luck, mushrooms. Let me have to put my copper ore over here, though. Yeah. Um, I also found a whole bunch of weird alien technology. Ion cubes. Acid and mushrooms, man. Let's get this party started. I'm hoping that tonight is mostly building 
my base. I also need to decide where to put it though, is the problem. Builder 2 is designed to construct habitats capable of withstanding extreme environmental conditions. I'm gonna buy him a little bit. I think maybe full buy him's okay. I can deconstruct my fabricator. Nice. It's like, you know what? We don't need this anymore. Oh no, I can't. Probably because it's probably because it's inside the escape pod. Bummer. If I can take apart the whole escape pod from the outside. I need to go find someplace better to um, build my habitat because I seem to have attracted the attention of a whole lot of unfriendly people over here. That's a lot of um, reapers running around and I don't need to deal with that kind of shit with my habitat. However, I think over here in the deeper part would be okay. That's the wrong way, you know? Hey guys, what's up? Pardon me, please. Oh, I've got a new radio message. Shit, I should I check that? Hang on, I'm gonna double check over here first while I'm thinking about this. Because we need to go collect some materials to make said habitat too. I just need a good spot to put it. This is not a good spot. Kelp forests are full of nasty predators. This is what I was thinking about. Maybe more shuttle would be better though for solar power. I'm not sure. Um, somebody shout out Pulse, by the way. I don't know if he streamed tonight or not, but he does stream all the time. Another kelp forest. I don't want to go here. Hmm. Not sure where to do this. Maybe right here? There's one right there, but that happens, right? I'm not going to avoid all the predators. Okay, I need to go make another battery for my poor... Um, I don't have any way to recharge batteries yet. I think that's something you can build later, but I don't have one yet. So, I need some food. I wonder, and I don't know if you can or not, but I wonder if I can go check, now that I have my radiation suit, I wonder if I can go check out my, um, the crashed spaceship and get anything off of it. Man, 
be recorded distress call. This is Life Pod 6. I have a passenger on board. Coordinates attached. Mm. We've landed a kilometer from the crash site, but there's radiation in between us and the rendezvous. Request immediate assistance. Six out. This new life pod, Signal okay. Coordinates corrupted. Approximate transmission origin recorded to date to bank. This is a survival slash base building slash figure out what's going on game. I've actually really liked it. This is only my second stream of it, and I played it for six hours the first night I streamed it. So. Um, I need some food, I think. I don't think I have any food right now. So hang on here. Let me look at my blueprints. I wonder what a graph trap does. Hmm. See, Moth looks like a mini sub. So it looks like I have to put down a foundation first. Oh shit, I can't do rooms yet. I haven't scanned rooms or something, so I can't build rooms yet. Fuck. Okay, hang on. Okay. This is now a proper release. This came out three days ago, I think, in the final release. Yeah, three days ago, I think. And you have to worry about food and water, which makes it a little bit more stressful sometimes. Um, let's make another battery. I have not beat Nio yet. Nio is kicking my fucking ass pretty hardcore. That's because the tablet is a see-through screen, and that's the reason why it comes through it. Yeah, that's on purpose. If you do it over here, you can see that behind it. Nio is just kicking me around so hard. I am not good at Nio at all. <laughs> How's that work? Oh, hang on. Select, cancel. Oh, cool. Okay, so that's how you change batteries. Wait, does it have two batteries in it? No, it doesn't. Okay. Okay, um, let's go see where Life Pod 6 is at. Life pod four is me, 400 meters west northwest of me. You know, I never have built a compass. That would probably be helpful. Let me see if I can. Copper wire and wiring kit. Um, I have a wiring. Actually, I don't have a wiring kit anymore. Let's see here. Wiring kit is two silver ore. I can't have that anymore. 
to do two copper ore. Let me see how I'm doing on that. However, I was just over where the red grass was. It was right over here. So let's go. Let's go take a look see. I, I, you know, I found Dark Souls to be hard but doable, but Nio is kicking my butt in a way that I really, I don't know. It's, oh shit, don't drop that, don't drop that. I did not ever play Ninja Gaiden. I know they made it, but it wasn't a game I ever played. Okay, I think it's over here somewhere. Is that it? Thirty seconds. Hey, Doug, these are the Leviathans I was talking about that I found the other day after you fell asleep. They're pretty cool. Decreased. I have to use my rebreather over here. It's hard to use because of how deep it is. What would it be? There's okay. Um, natural arches, formations. Deposit. What just attacked me? They said they were near the radiation zone, but they weren't actually in it.
This is part of our ship, I think. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Just let's go over here and look. Yeah, 400 meters away from me, and I'm 398 meters away from me right now, so I'm pretty close to that number. To work from where I'm at. Is that it? I don't think that's it. That's still useful though. Maybe 404, it's possible. <laughs> sea moth, titanium, power cell, glass, lubricant, and lead. Is that it? Oh, there it is. Found it. Ultra glide fence. Useful. Okay, I'm too deep. I've gone too deep. Here, let's go back up. Let me see if we're in the radiation zone here or not. I can use my rebreather and actually stay down there a little bit longer. Okay. Oh, radiation detected. That's not good. Oh, shit, wrong one. That hurts fast, too. Impressive. It's okay. Passing one hundred meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Integrating new PDA data. I think that's everything. I don't see anything else in here. Let's see what we found out. I also need to figure out how to build habitat buildings, and I don't know how to do that. As I didn't expect that to be a problem. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna go see if we can swim into this with our radiation suit on. I don't know if there's anything in there or not, but let's go find out. This looks not healthy at all.
Oh yeah, we're infected with whatever um, infection is bothering this world. So we can't leave yet. We can actually swim up to it. We go inside of it. Is there a gap anywhere? Because this thing supposedly had like habitat constructors and everything inside of it. So if we can get inside of it, maybe we can learn some stuff. And that would be useful. I don't know if that's possible or not. I really don't. But it seemed like a reasonable thing to try. It's very reflective. Some redirective ports is fine, right? The annoying thing is we can't put on our rebreather right here. Because we do, we'll die really quick from the radiation. So we're just gonna have to deal, yo. We can go inside of it, it looks Life like. Form readings in this region are sparse. The Aurora's radioactive fallout will have devastating effects on the alien ecosystem if not contained within the next 24 hours. Um, I wonder if we can fix that then since we're here. Go in there. I go down deeper and go in. Is it shifting? Is everything shaking over here? Thank you for the hot post, Hobbs. How you doing, man? You missed me finishing Wolfenstein. It was epic and awesome. No. This ship has seen what? How do you say better days? Yeah. Swing my knife at you! Flail! Flail! Gotcha. I didn't bring another battery soon. Oh well. Huh? 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 
Oh, shit. Also really hungry suddenly. Weird. Vital signs stabilizing. I didn't even notice how fast that was going down. Why did that go down so fast? I'm gonna die over here exploring this thing, but that's okay. Conducted at your own risk. Calorie intake recommended. Night Doc. I'm gonna die of starvation. I wonder what that does to my state when I respawn. Guess we'll find out, huh? Also lost because my flashlight battery is dead and I can't see anymore. Shit. This has not worked out well. Who am I stuck on? Is there an invisible wall here? There's an invisible wall here. You fucker, seriously. That's so uncool. Can't go that way either. How do I get out of here? How did I get in here and how do I get back out? And there we go. Let's see if we can get some food before we die. I was hoping for some data on building habitats. Perhaps I hope for too much there. Passing 100 meters, oxygen efficiency decreased.
30 seconds. Emergency. Starvation imminent. Seek calorie intake I'm working on it. Thanks, computer. <laughs> When in doubt, eat raw fish. Because, you know what? It's better than starving to death. And peepers are good eats. Vital signs stabilizing. You don't want to chat with me while I'm starving to death? Vital signs stabilizing. These things happen. Who was? How do I bring this up and how do I get rid of it? Of course we're going to eat. Um. One's that one's that that's apparently F3. I love early access games. Like, uh, how to bring up this particular console? I don't know. Need more water, need more food. It's the eternal dance survival when you're shipwrecked on an alien planet, right? And then we're going to build a base foundation and see if that teaches us anything about how to build habitats. I doubt it will, but I don't know what else to try right now. Other than searching around for stuff to scan. Which might be the next thing to do. Okay, I need some water. 
which means I need salt or bladder fish. Either one will do in a pinch. Or I can go back to the island and see if the trees have respawned. But I don't want to do that until I'm sure I won't die of thirst on the way there. You're a fast little fucker, you know that? Farted at me. Ah, swim away. Do not stop your metal. Oh, please. Thirty seconds. We have a message. We will go back to our pod momentarily and check that. We could really use some salt for this though. Boom fragment, there we go. Integrating new PDA data. All about finding the right junk scattered on the seafloor. New creature discovered. I, I caught Reginald. Sorry, Reggie. I love you, by the way, but I'm going to eat you. 30 seconds. Now, whatever you have. Hopefully you're bad for my, um, uh, water, though, so I guess I won't eat you. Nope, not yet. Up farther, up farther. You can't pick it up. I can just scan it. You have to make the big stuff yourself. You can't just pick it up. Because it's fragments of the big stuff, so. I'm not surprised you're having trouble sleeping tonight, Duck, given how much you slept during the day. It's just, you know, not surprising. I'm not saying you did anything right or wrong. Just, yeah. <laughs> Salt! God. So bleach is what? Salt and coral tube sample. Thank you. 
she had a rough night last night, and so she slept for probably about four or five hours in the day today. So she wants to sleep, but can't sleep because her body's convinced it's not time to sleep because she hasn't been awake long enough. It happens. It happens to me before. So I, eh, yeah. I think we've all been there at least once or twice. That's nice because that gives you two waters, which I'm going to drink both of right now. There we go. Let's go check what's up with the. This is Life Pod 4. We've landed close to the Aurora. Flotation device is active, but we've got some big old fish in the water with us, and I don't know how long we're going to last. We're close to the crash site, so bring radiation protection. Four out. Signal coordinates corrupted. Approximate transmission origin recorded to date to bank. Oh, geez, Doc. <laughs> One hundred and fifty meters northwest of the Aurora's port midsection. Port is back, right? Oh, what the fuck is that? What am I seeing? Holy shit. What are you? Aha. Port's left. Port left. Yeah, I know after's rear. I'm life pod five. So let's see here. Oh, port midsection. So 150 meters north. So it's probably on the other side of it from where I'm at. That's what I probably think. Given that I'm right here, and there's definitely not something on the surface within 150 meters of me. And I saw her swimming all up and down this side and didn't see it on the surface, so it's probably on the other side. I need to go use the restroom. I'll be right back. Should also check and see what I got from the, <laughs> the other side of Starbucks. <laughs> that has to be aft, right? I mean, that has to be the back of it. So, just also check and see what I got out of the other. Oh, fuck. Uh, that went well for him, didn't it?
The bioreactor, totally organic. A one-person sea and space vehicle. Titanium, power cell, glass, lubricant, and lead. I actually can almost make that, probably. Huh. I guess it became nighttime. I was reading everything. Um, we should find some more food and water. And then we should go explore some more. I need to make another battery. Acid mushroom and copper. And then this is hang on. Battery, lubricant, copper wire, and titanium. I need more copper. I know where to find copper though. I go back to the island to find copper. I even left the thing over there. So the cave I hadn't explored yet. They don't like lights, huh? The sea at night is dark and full of terrors. Half tempted to just wait for morning so I can see what I'm doing. Although, I can see that. Let's just go. Huh? It's only got 34% power. I'm about to swim back the hard way, probably, but it's okay. I think actually, that's a bad idea because if I run out of water while I'm over there, um, that won't be good. So I need to. I need to take care of my food and water first before I do it. Mostly water. Food I can usually find and eat raw. Water is harder to find. Fuck you. Oh look, my um battery just went out on that. Butterfish, butterfish, thank you. Butterfish make okay water. A pinch. Are good eats. Salt would be ideal. I love how every, I love all the bioluminescent stuff underneath the ocean. That's just I don't know. It's beautiful and it's nice and I like it a lot. Sun coming up already? Yes, it does. Let us go make some more water with the bladder fish I caught. But we'll eat a little bit more food. And then I think we're going to leave a few things behind. We can pick up stuff when we get there. 
Actually, what we're gonna do first, we're gonna use a fucking health kit. There we go. Cool there. We're cool there. We have one bottle of water with us. We should really drop off some of this stuff we're not going to use for a while. Let's see. Do we have any room in this? Not a whole lot. But this is easy to find. So we'll take this. This is this is easy to find. What's it take to make the faster fence? I see like high efficiency fins or something. Glide fins. Maybe that was for something else. Propulsion cannon. That sounds interesting. Laser cutter. Make another battery for our sea glide. Or not our sea glide. Our, yeah, this thing. And we are going to go see if we can find the other life pod. Which I think will be on the other side of that. Yell if you see salt, and if you don't know what salt looks like, don't worry about it. It's white. <laughs> Usually down the bottom. Does not typically come from streamer tears, but sometimes. Trap is, but I can make one now. So that's cool. I wish I could open up the cargo pods to see get stuff out of them, but I can't. Ooh, I can actually break that down for raw materials after. I'm just scanning it. That's kind of cool. You know, I'm not sure what a crashed super futuristic spaceship would look like, but I think they've done an okay job. Alright, for those of you who are wondering, this is what salt looks like. <laughs> there are lots of angry sounding creatures in the water tonight. Really can't say that I blame them. We did drop an entire fucking spaceship on their planet.
weird clipping right there. You can't actually swim up into the back of the engine and stop shit. I, that seems like sloppy coding to me. It annoys me. I don't, holy shit! Run away! <laughs> <laughs> Let's go around the front of the ship. What do you say? I think that sounds like a good idea. Let's go around the front. Yeah. They did that on purpose. They knew which way I would go to try to find the life pod. That was supposed to be my first introduction to that, and it worked, and it was terrifying. Well played, devs. Well played. I'm sorry I made fun of your coding skills. Hey, Ross. How you doing, man? these batteries are rechargeable. Otherwise, I'm going to do some serious littering here as they run out of power. I am um, oh, playing Subnautica. I finished Wolfenstein. I'm doing pretty okay. Oh, how's Ori going, man? I love Ori. I played that a few months ago. It was awesome and really hard, by the way. The difficulty spikes are insane. It's easy for a while, and then suddenly, it's not easy anymore. You know, there will come a point when you go, oh, this is the part Clockwork was talking about. It suddenly gets a lot harder at a very specific point. You'll, you'll know what I mean when you get there. Actually, no, no, I see what this is. This is the edge of the world, I think. Which me, so the, the edge of the world in this game is called the abyss. It's this sudden drop off that just goes and goes and goes. And it's full of the very largest predators in the game. Um, which would explain why I may have seen that there. You know, a compass would be useful. I should go make a compass. Then I can actually find this a little bit better. 
So hang on, we're gonna stop exploring blindly. We're gonna get the parts we need to make a compass, and we're gonna try to do it the right way. I'm not sure where the edge is at though. I don't know if the ship is on the edge or if it's in the middle or what, but having a compass would help me know. If I knew which way northwest was, I would have more information, right? The underwater sounds are really good. So if you didn't see, if you're here at last stream, that right there is the alien building that's actually an orbital defense laser to shut down my rescue ship. <laughs> Such assholes, those aliens sometimes. If it takes away water, that gives me more. Mm, that's annoying. Okay. You, you, you may go. Hello down there, huge guy. How about if you just stay down there and I'll stay up here and we can be, we'll be we'll get along just fine. Okay, cool. There was a force field covering that door that I figured out how to turn off last time I was here. This makes a shitty flashlight better to do in a pinch. And these things are good. Heat. Oh shit. Where are you at?
You can't cut down the tree. I did last time on one. But this gives you food and water, so it's... I'm like, you're going to my water's up at a decent level. Okay. It's hard to see the ore at night. Problem. I'm gonna run into it here. So we may just have to enjoy, enjoy the night for a moment so I can see what I'm doing since I didn't bring a battery for my flashlight. Although I guess I could swap out the battery that's in this thing. Yeah. There we go. It's a nice moon. There was an eclipse the other day when I was playing. It was the middle of the day, and I was like, why is it suddenly dark? And there was an eclipse. It was really confusing and neat. Ah, uh, this isn't helping enough. I can't see. That's how I turned it off. Ah, uh, I'm an idiot. Need two silver, I think. Um, one, two. Let me see here. Because I need to make what I want to make is a compass, which I think required a wiring harness and a a copper wire. I think Ash had got had left and was sleeping, but no, it was cool. Yeah. I was very surprised. I was like, why is it dark? And the oh, look, there's an eclipse. Neat. Wiring kit. The wiring kit takes... I need to scan some multi-purpose rooms. I need to scan two multi-purpose rooms so I can start building my base. I really want to start building my base tonight. So... Well, hopefully we'll stumble across the right debris. Ultra Glide friends. Oh, modification station. I don't have a modification station yet, so I can't make this yet. Okay. Let's see. Wiring kit is two silver ore, and copper wire is two copper ore. Not sure how much copper I have back waiting for me. If any, that made another battery. Here, let's daytime. Yay! You're pretty close, yeah. There's actually, a, there's actually an overall plot to it, and since you haven't seen the beginning of it, you don't know what some of the goals are. But, yeah. We crash landed on an alien planet. Um, I'm infected with a disease. I need to figure out how to cure it so I can dis disable the defense cannon and find a way off the planet. Plus, you have to survive while you're doing all that. And it is an ocean planet. So yeah, you have to deal with food and oxygen and water. It's actually really fun. I can't stop playing it for some reason. Some people would find it frustrating because it gives very minimal direction and just sort of says good luck. But I kind of like it. Yeah, there's, there's actually an end to the game. 
you can you can you can complete the game and then you can either keep playing if you want to or stop. And the resource balancing is interesting. There's been more than one... Stop? Why am I stopping? The resource balancing is interesting. There's been more than once that I've been like, I want to... Oh, it was it was, um, it was was titanium. I don't need... And it also takes up four spots in my inventory, so I didn't need to pick it up. I don't have enough room for it right now. It's metal scrap. 30 seconds. The, the, the resource balancing of... By the way, don't starve or run out of water has made me stop more than once while I was going to say, okay, now we need to find food and water. <laughs> so. There's also this cave over here I haven't really explored yet. And I think I want a flashlight before I go in there. Because it's dark. And dark places are scary on this planet. The thing that says island here is a probe I dropped off, a beacon I dropped off last time I was here, so I could find it again. Oh, apparently it stops, it's not rendering it anymore, it just sort of knows where it's at now. It's kind of weird, but okay. It moved it underground. That sounds like a bug to me, but whatever, I'll take it. Oh, you know what I should be wearing right now, so I can do this for longer? the fuck? Who bit me? Did you bite me? Yes, you did. A blue palm. Must be a miniature blue palm. Note to self, do not get lost in the cave. Because really all oxygen in a cave sucks. Make this way out. Yep. Okay. Underwater caves are oddly slightly less scary to explore because they tend to be full of bioluminescent plants. Oh god, the fear something in here wants to eat me. It's just that's lithium. I don't need lithium for anything yet. That's a big circle, hang on. No. Yeah. We'll use um, calories to swim up this time instead of batteries. I would really like a little bit of copper. 
Although copper might have... Copper was over by my pod, wasn't it? Yeah, let's go peek in here one more time. We'll head back and see what we can do. Right now I'm trying to build a compass so I can follow some directions I found and try to find some more information about things I can build to help me survive and what happened to the other people on the ship I was on. That is a shark. We don't want to bother it. And hopefully it doesn't want to bother us. Cold. Well, the problem right now... I, I am going to be gathering a lot more stuff, but right now I'm far enough away that if I filled up my inventory, I'd be going back immediately, and I haven't found what I really need out here yet. I came here for a very specific reason. Which was to find some silver and possibly some copper so I can make my compass. Inventory space is a concern. Don't need lead, but we'll take it anyway. I'll drop that at first, probably. Because my inventory is... I have three, four slots left. It was a silver... It wasn't... I, I need, The little subtitle for the silver said, you need special equipment for this. I couldn't mine it yet. I need something else to get into that one. It's a bigger thing of pure silver. It's still being silver and stone. So, yeah. However you get that, I can't get it yet. I found the silver I needed already. I'm double checking to make sure I don't can't find any copper on the way back. But we're heading back now. Actually, you know what we're gonna do before we head back? We're gonna eat some trees because trees are good eats, and they have lots of water and food in them. So it'd be silly not to while I'm here. This is the only island I've found so far. I don't know if there are any other ones or not, to be honest. It is nice that it rearranges the inventory to put in stuff, so that's nice. Do one more, so we're full on water. The island, coming to the island is really nice because there's plenty of food here. I don't know. And organic food rots if you take it and don't cure it with salt. So you have to either eat it immediately or very soon afterwards or it starts rotting and losing its nutritional content. And eventually it actually hurts you instead of um, healing you. The only non-organic food I found so far were the nutrient cubes they gave me at the very start to tide me over till I got going. Yeah, see, special equipment is required to collect this resource. The silver says the same thing. Salt, though. That's useful. Copper. There we go. Copper's the limestone. Okay. I also found my first diamond the last time towards the end. And when I got it, my suit computer helpfully informed me that the Altera Corporation technically owns all the salvage I find. And if I can't provide the salvage, I must pay for it in credits. And my current bill stood at something like 1.5 million credits or something. So that was funny.
Oops, my sea glide ran out of power. I guess we'll stop using that for now and we'll just swim the old fashioned way. We're almost back, so it's okay. Let's have some more salt down here. There it is. Hang on. How are we doing on the air? Okay. We are going to drop some lead that we don't currently need. You fucker. Shit. It's like, blurp. <laughs> We're done. <laughs> Oh, look, it is nighttime, too. Eh, we'll stop for it for now. And, yeah, it's okay. We'll be okay. On the plus side, I wasn't using it because I was too deep and trying to get to the surface. That would have sucked. <laughs> well, it's not nighttime. I was just deep. Okay. Need some more habitat modules to scan so I can start building my base. Ah. Uh, I have a freaking horde of unfriendly people here with me, right by my skate pod. I don't know how I attracted them over here, but they're not going away, and it's really, really annoying. with a broken ship and you want me to meet you halfway and you're worrying about your fucking ham and cheese. That's hilarious. I love it. That was awesome. <laughs> Tell me I have more copper in here. Thank you so much. Okay, good. I did not know that. It's awesome. <laughs> hey, look, I have a compass. That is super useful. I tell you what. So northwest is this way. Interesting. <laughs> One hundred fifty meters northwest of the aft port midsection. Actually, that would make sense. That would be on the side anyway, because port would be the left side, and it would... Yeah, okay, no, that makes sense. I don't know why I thought it was on the other side. 
have I haven't seen it yet? Well, it is pretty small, even on the surface. So. Uh, make some bleach, which is at least some coral tube samples, which I ditched while I was doing stuff. Um, I have three salts, so I need three coral tube samples, and then we'll be good on the water for a little while. Fuck, it's dark again. God damn it. And I have no batteries and no flashlight right now. God damn it. Hang on. Can I find coral down here? In the dark? By myself? In the ocean? You know, I went the first couple of days of game time without a, any little power source, and the dark wasn't so bad. Now that I have a flashlight, I really hate not having it. <laughs> Oop, wrong way. Yeah, I could put on my lead helmet, but wrong way. They are having a fun time over there with the, with the, um, we have some sea cows, which is what I call them. We also have a bunch of, Ship status. Uh, it's broken. The angry, not shark things. I don't remember what they're called. Not reapers. The other ones. Stalkers. We have a bunch of stalkers over here, too. They're really fucking annoying. They won't go away. Let's do a good job of making friends, apparently. Can't see Jack nor shit down here right now. My cursor over just high said, Hey, that's coral! I'll be set. Other than that, we're not going to find it. Good morning. Okay. Find some coral. Hello, you. Fuck you. Seriously. Get out of here. Go. Please leave. Look, see, there's coral everywhere, and I could not just swim by it on accident. God damn it. Caution, do not drink bleach. Use bleach to make drinkable water first. Okay. Let's go dump some shit in this. Do it clear? A little bit. Okay.
No, no, pick it up. Use it. Dead batteries. We'll keep those. I assume I can charge them later. More lead. Never can. Quartz, quartz. Keep the med kits on us. This. I need, what do I need to make batteries? I need to make some more batteries. Battery. Oh, a power cell. Hang on. Maybe batteries aren't rechargeable and power cells are. Two batteries and some silicone rubber. I have two batteries and some silicone rubber. I wonder if they start off dead if you make them from dead batteries. They probably do, right? They probably do. I made a battery rechargeable too. Okay, let's make some more batteries. Let's see. Battery, acid, mushroom, and copper. I'm out of copper. Shit. Okay. What I want to find is... Actually, what I should do... Let's make some food and go see if I can find that other life pod I haven't found yet. Life pod six, I think. So maybe four copper. Seriously. Exploding demon fish can bite me. It's uh it's one thirty and I'm not there yet. She said to bite three, so we're okay. I think I had a flashlight last time I came in here. Shit. No, she said by three. It's 1.30. It is not overdue yet. Don't make me mute you. <laughs> I have not scanned here. <laughs> Hello, whale bro. How you doing? You should get breakfast then. Breakfast is a good thing when it is breakfast time.
I am looking for copper and I am looking for some habitat modules to scan. I'm also seriously considering going to the surface. I can see the sea moth fragment that will scan it anyway. Now we are not about sea moth, so that means it was just um, resources. What did it give me? Um, titanium. Okay. Those guys are really cool. They are much cooler and friendlier seeming than the one I saw earlier that tried to eat my face. That was terrifying, not cool. I've been here already. I think I've scanned all of this, but let's make sure. Saddle edge. Are you edible raw? Let's see here. Not really. Hey, Reginald. But we'll cook you and see how good you are. Salvage. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency. What the fuck is that? Is that like a weird cactus thing that was throwing spikes at me? Ah, oh, here we go. Silver is not what I needed, but okay, thanks. God damn, you fucking fish. Go away. Loaders are cool. I wonder what I'm going to use those for. I don't know yet. Where are we place to find metal salvage? Just floating here halfway up. I didn't realize that stuff floated. I may build my base over here. This seems relatively serene. It's radioactive, which I don't really care about at this point. some annoying small fish that want to bite me, but, you know, F them. I don't care. Look, it floats. Bye. <laughs> I think if you're hungry and you're planning on staying up for a while, you should probably eat. If you're a little hungry and think about going to bed soon, well, maybe you should just go to bed. Probably stop in about a half ish hour, is my current thought. Um, I'm really annoyed I can't find what I'm looking for, but welcome to being blind and lost on an alien planet in a giant ocean, I guess. I can't complain too much, I'm not dead yet. Passing 
100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. New creature discovered. I know nothing about it yet other than it is progressing. And that I have it. Silver. They need at least one more of those, preferably three more. If I remember my ratios correctly. Battery was. No, it's copper, not silver. God damn it. But it is one copper, so I only need two coppers. I know the planet is quarantined. I know that there is an alien research facility for studying the infection somewhere down here. I do not know where that is yet. There was, was where some other alien stuff, because we've managed to translate some of their data banks when we were in the big laser cannon building. Um. I, I, I don't know a lot more than I do know. <laughs> I do know the sea whales poop little explosive things that poison you. And you should watch out for those. Because, uh, being poison sucks. We should be out the uh, Braywacker Park now. I do know I should probably find some food to eat. Mm -hmm. Let's do that. Apparently they're all still there fighting. You know, they can just keep that up as long as they want to. It's a long fight, but I'm not going to complain. Okay, that should be enough food. Let's go eat. I am talking about my character right now. When I said it... The other thing I said, I was talking to Ash, who said he was hungry. But I am talking about my character. Pungent and smoky. Extremely filling. Hey, Reginald. Plus 44. Nice.
So I need to find two copper and the acid mushrooms are easy. Okay. Always position yourself by the flaming wreck of the aura. That's nice. <laughs> So apparently I do want to go on there. It has blueprints. The captains... I have the code. How do I get inside that thing, though, without dying? I'm glad I didn't find that door before. Um... Wait, there was one door that said locked, wasn't there? That I found where I was at before? Maybe that's it. Hmm. Maybe I did find it. She had that big open deck that was canted. So maybe that's where I need, to, maybe having the code now I can open that door. It would be nice to have some batteries though, so I could um, get there a little bit faster. Granted, it's not that far. Maybe just swimming there would be better. Let's cook some food. We have some water with us. This will go bad if I don't eat it in the next day or so, but that's okay. And maybe we can find some copper while we're on our way. This is going to be a little bit slower though, so sorry. Those are good raw and good water. So we'll grab a few of those in our way. Yeah, that was closer than I thought it was. We should be fine. So how you doing, man? Somewhere under the sea is a lot of stuff that wants to kill you. I know because I've been running from it all. This looks interesting. But no, just not lose track of what we're doing. This is salt. We'll take that. I don't care about. Is that an equipment locker that's closed? We'll open that up and see what's in there. Ah, that had a battery in it. Oh my god. What are the odds? This game is so nice sometimes. More salt. More salt. We're going to be set on water now. Nice. For a while. So that's good. Copper. Okay, this trip was completely worth it already. Even if we can't find the freaking captain's compartment. 
This trip was already worth it. Ah, uh, now we're gonna get eaten by a giant fish. <laughs> Swim away! <laughs> okay, he came up. Titanium's everywhere, I don't really care, but these are uh, more salt. Sweet, I got so much salt. Every salt deposit gives me two clean water once processed correctly. So, yeah, this has been a gold mine of salt. And believe me, at the current stage of the game I'm at, salt is more useful than gold. Be copper, be copper, be copper. Yeah, fuck you. Titanium's a diamond dozen out here. I just don't need it. <laughs> I knew that was a risky move when I did it, but it was worth it anyway. <laughs> Yay for batteries. Oh good, now I can make a desk. That's useful. Can I move that? Acquired. There's no way to crouch in this game, of course. Looks like such a bad idea. That's not claustrophobic or anything. And I can't use my rebreather in here because it's all radioactive. The music changed when I went underneath there, didn't it? That's not metagaming or anything, but the music totally changed when I went underneath here. Oh my. Oh my. Okay, hang on. Shit, how do I get up there? Can I not get up there? That's so cruel! I can see the surface! 
Shit, how do I I'm gonna drown now because I lost track of where I was at. surface right here. Oh, good, I can. Okay. I think there's some nice clipping we saw there for a second. I'm inside the ship again, trying to find the captain's quarters so that I can use the code I got and find the blueprints that I got sent by the guy ordering the ham sandwich. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. There's a lot of wreckage down here, so I don't know how I'm going to find it. It's at the Prawn Bay. But how do I find that? up right there, which is really annoying when you're trying to find oxygen. Okay, this is where we get back to our invisible wall bitching again now, I think. Okay, that's the way out. Cool. I think this is where I started, which is near the front of, it, of this section. Trying to find a needle in a very messy and fucked up haystack. Hmm. It feels almost futile. Futile. I mean, I'm happy about the other resources we found when we came over here. But I'm a little annoyed that. As I said before, it's not like I would know if I was actually in this situation, so maybe I shouldn't be annoyed. Well, I think my character would be annoyed, so maybe annoyance is okay. Okay, I can be annoyed. I give myself permission to be annoyed. Can I not go up here? No, I can't. Can I go up any of these places? Okay, I'm 
turned around again. I don't know where I'm at. How to get out? What's the important question? I think this way is out. I'm honestly not sure at this point. No, that's the wrong way. This way's out. Uh, my wife already knows I'm an idiot, but I'll go to bed anyway. <laughs> she is married to me after all. You think she doesn't realize this already? to find, explore this thing because of all the places you can't go. I can bitch about that. That's okay to bitch about. I know you did. I'm just saying, Sherry knows I'm an idiot. So it's hardly a revelation. <laughs> okay, let's leave the ship. Um, and let's... um. Let's check and see if we can't find... Hang on a second here real quick. One of the is northwest of the Aurora's port midsection. 140, 150 meters northwest. That's in this direction. Actually, you know what? It'd be nice if I actually had a, something to base this off of. I'm just actually keeping track of distance, right? Oh! The fuck? That hurt a lot. Fuck. Oh, shit! That's not good. Run away! Don't care where we're going, it's just this way. <laughs> I did a whole lot of damage to me. There we go. Okay. <laughs> in this area is dominated by black life picking up faint all terra vehicle signatures really would you care to say where exactly because I can't see shit I just dropped that water like an idiot. <clears throat> yeah, as a, you watch, you miss me almost getting eaten. It was terrifying, as it should be. <laughs> well, I couldn't see it and it was roaring at me. I found it to be a little terrifying. 
No, that it was different this time. Were you here for that one, sweet? It was a little different. <laughs> because it felt different to me. <laughs> It's like once every hour and a half at this point. Right now I'm waiting for the sun to come up because I can't see what I'm looking for at all. Yeah, is that doing anything up here? I shall soon be asleep. I didn't get done what I wanted to get done tonight in the game, but we made some progress and that's good. Here's the sun coming up. I actually see mine in the distance right there. I'm 700 meters away from it. So it seems like if there's another one here, I'd be able to see it. But maybe it's sync since they sent the message. Those are interesting looking. I don't know if I should be afraid or fascinated. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. That's really deep and I can't use my rebreather here. This is really cool. Hang on.
Really deep right there. It's too close to Mr. Radioactive over there for me to probably safely explore it. No wonder I couldn't see it. It slipped over. I thought I saw an interaction icon pop up. Oh, there we go. There's a hole. Creature decoy. That sounds useful. Blueprint acquired. Integrating new PDA data. Okay. Never played Fortnite. I'm not sure if I'd like it or not, to be honest. Salt deposit, and I can't mine it. Ah, uh, horrible fate. Passing 100 meters, oxygen efficiency decreased. Yeah, I know. It's just PUBG tickles my fancy in a weird way that Fortnite doesn't, at least watching gameplay. I've never played either one of them, so I might be wrong. We should uh, surface before we drown. is acid mushroom times two and cup four. That's what I was looking for. Bleach is coral tube sample and salt. Okay. Let's go you make some coral tube samples. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. It's not even the realistic look, it's just something about the overall gameplay flow seems something. I don't know. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
No, no, it's not the way it looks. The, the, the look doesn't bother me at all. I like World of Warcraft fine. Cartoony looking games don't bother me. That's not it. because they explode and when they explode it hurts a lot. They're still fighting. It's fine, they're all over there fighting. It's true. I mean, I'm not unwilling to try it, mind you. It's just I think Fortnite looks more interesting to me. Fortnite. I think PUBG looks more interesting to me. I could be completely wrong. And I may just hate both of them. Psh, who knows? That looks fun. I am actually going to make my water and eat and drink, and then I'm probably going to stop for the night. Could just a little bit more food. Let's go spearfish real quick. So we start next time not starving. Flavor, but very low to bit of it. Okay, cool. Let's go let this other fish go. He didn't do anything. Oh, 
have lots of copper. That's nice to know, actually. It was all out here the whole time. I need a copy or something. I don't remember what. I want to make more batteries. Um, I know I keep saying we're going to leave. And I really am in a second. So let's see. Four batteries. Yeah, we can use that to make two power cells. Uh... No, because I, whenever I said that I was going to be leaving shortly, it was in response to you saying that. Okay. Not ignoring Sweet, no. Possibly not, obviously, talking to Sweet, but not ignoring her either. Uh, I did not say goodnight, Ash. I guess I did ignore you a little bit. Night, Ash. <laughs> Assuming you're still here. Yeah, he's still he's still in chat. Don't know if he's still paying attention or not, but he's still in chat. He's kind of still here. Did he get anything to eat? I hope he got something to eat. He said he was hungry. Not eating the mushroom. It's an acid mushroom. Not very tasty. Kind of acidy. <laughs> Good for making batteries out of, though, apparently. Let's see. Power cell is two batteries and some silicone rubber, which I think I have over here. You know what? This isn't going to fit back inside my fucking things. I just wasted all that because I'm not going to be able to use it inside of here, didn't I? Yep. Nice. Uh, well, now we have two power cells for whenever we need those. I'm annoyed now, but that's my fault for not testing it first. Okay, that's a good spot to stop for tonight, I think. The game doesn't save either, so the fact I save so rarely is a terrible thing. I need to work on that. Now, thank you all for hanging out with me for two games tonight. Finished Wolfenstein. Played some Subnautica. All was good. I had a good time. I hope you did too. Um, let us check and see if in anybody that I follow. Oh, Barb's still doing his Barbathon. Hmm. Not sure if it was because I was streaming too long, but you can easily blame that. Ocarina of Time's good. Sure, why not? We'll host Barb. Thank you all for hanging out. It's been funsies. I hope you all join me tomorrow night for more Assassin's Creed. But for now, I should go to bed. So thank you and good night. Hopefully you didn't hear that. I had to play a one, two, three.